Welcome to Kingswood House. For many years, the house has taken part in London Open House Weekend, but in 2020, this has not been possible. Instead, the friends of Kingswood House have prepared this short presentation to tell you a little about the history of the house and to see it inside the building. The Friends of Kingswood House was formed in 1998 to promote the community use of the house and present its history. More details about the Friends, including how you can join, is on the website. The house is situated in what was once called King's Coppice in Dulwich, and although today it is surrounded by buildings, it would once have been in a rural wooded setting. The earliest record of a house on this site date to about 1811, when a man called William Vizard, who was a solicitor, leased land here from Dulwich College with a house called Kingswood Lodge. This tapestry, which is really an embroidery, shows Vizard on the left with later owners and was made by volunteers for the Friends of Kingswood House. The house continued to be a family home throughout the 19th century, passing through several owners, including the family of a Swiss merchant whose son later became governor of Fiji. As well as a formal garden, there was a kitchen garden and a small home farm providing food for the house. In Kingswood Drive today, you can still see the gatehouse, which is all that remains of the large estate which once surrounded the house. A little way beyond the grounds, the railway arrived in 1863, and there was a private entrance on the south side for the exclusive use of the owner of Kingswood House. All other travellers had to cross to the north side to access the trains. The building as you see it today is largely the result of work commissioned by one of the best known owners of the house, John Lawson Johnston. He was originally from Scotland, but he established a successful business in Canada, making Bovril. Johnston took the lease of Kingswood House when he moved to England in 1891. Johnston employed a young architect called Henry Vaughan Lanchester to make many alterations, adding the side wings, battlements to the roof, the porch and many internal changes. The cost of the work was £10,000. This architect also designed offices for the Bovril Company in Old Street, London, as well as Westminster Central Hall. The house was now much larger than before, and because the new appearance resembled the Scottish baronial style, the house became known locally as Bovril Castle. The outside of the building is faced with Kentish ragstone and is decorated with carved bathstone details such as you see here. Today, as in the past, you enter the house through the large stone porch on the east front. Inside, the entrance lobby is panelled in wood. To the left, a door leads into what was once the Great Hall. On the wall of the lobby, the tapestry can be seen. Also in the entrance lobby, there is an ornate ironwork gate, which is for a dumb waiter, a pulley lift system which brought food up from the basement kitchen. The former Great Hall 
became a lending library in 1956. This room was once a grand reception room and still has its finely carved wooden staircase leading up to a gallery. Leading off from the gallery is an octagonal tea cabin in the corner. The Great Hall was used for parties, including those hosted by the Diedrich family, shown here. The family who took over the house from J.L. Johnson in the early 20th century. Among their guests was Sir Ernest Shackleton, who lived nearby and whose expedition to Antarctica was supported by William Diedrich. Also accessed from the lobby is the Jacobean room, the former dining room of the house. There used to be connecting arches into the room from the Great Hall. This room retains its wood panelling on the walls and would have originally had a fine carved fireplace. The plaster ceiling was installed in the early 20th century. This room is currently being used for a COVID related food bank. The 20th century brought several changes to Kingswood House. It ceased being a family home and was sublet in 1916 to the tractor manufacturers Massey Harris for use as a wartime hospital for Canadian servicemen and was called the Massey Harris Convalescent Home. After the First World War, it was briefly a nurse's home. We continue into the Golden Room, which was the drawing room of the family house. This room still has a decorated plaster ceiling. Today, the Golden Room and the Jacobean Room are used for community and private events. From the Golden Room, a door leads out onto the terrace. In 1919, the house had a new owner, Sir William Vesty. He was made Baron Vesty of Kingswood in 1922. He was a successful businessman whose ventures included founding the Blue Star Line shipping fleet. Lord Vesty lived at Kingswood until 1940, after which the house was used as offices and never returned to being a family home. During Lord Vesty's time at Kingswood, the grounds were often opened for use by Sunday school outings and school sports, as well as other community events. Returning back into the house, we leave the Golden Room and go along the passage to the Billiard Room. The billiard room has a high domed ceiling and wood panelling on the walls. It has changed little since the early 20th century. To one side of the billiard room, the seating for spectators and a fine marble fireplace survive. Below much of the house is the basement area where the kitchens and storerooms were situated. Here we see one of the storerooms and the white tiling which survives through much of the basement. Returning to the lobby, we go up the fine wooden staircase. On the first floor, the rooms would have been bedrooms and there was also a library. Upstairs, much of the wood panelling survives, together with the late Victorian fabric panels on the walls. J.L. Johnston named one of the bedrooms the Culloden Room and it was said to be based on a room in Holyrood Palace in Edinburgh. It once housed a bedstead said to have been used by Bonnie Prince Charlie 
on the eve of the Battle of Culloden. A further staircase goes up to a mezzanine level leading to the Vesti room. The Vesti room was Lady Vesti's bedroom. The room is currently used by a youth club. The larger rooms in the house are used for a variety of community activities. Here you see the staircase as it continues up to the second floor. The rooms on the second floor would have been used as nurseries and bedrooms for the female servants. Today some of them are used as offices. Outside there would have been ornate gardens which included a lake and a folly, both now lost. In the early 1900s you might have seen a small aeroplane in the grounds. In 1908 the house was leased by a colourful character, a Russian prince called Serge de Bolotov, who lived here with his family, who were frequently in debt. He was an aeronautical engineer and was depicted in the recent TV series Mr Selfridge. Today the house is surrounded by the large housing estate built in the 1950s. The house itself narrowly escaped demolition and was saved for community uses. Today the house is licensed for civil marriages and is popular for wedding receptions. The Friends of Kingswood House continue to explore ways to preserve this fine late Victorian family mansion while ensuring it continues to provide facilities for the community. Partly through their efforts, a refurbishment programme for the house took place in 2001. Thank you for visiting Kingswood House. We look forward to welcoming you in person in the future.